More than 2,000 San Diego State students will be returning to the classroom. It's the first in-person classes since the coronavirus outbreak led to more than 1,000 COVID-19 cases. News 8's Chris Grow live on campus to explain more on this. Chris. Hey, good morning, Eric. And essentially what we're looking at are students that need to go to class because of some different reasons. That could be that essentially their degree or what they're going to school for requires that hours, those hours to be done like lab hours, things like that for accreditation or licensing. So it's a necessity uh, quite literally. And then there are some that need to have that research or that equipment be done in person. So this is not going to be willy nilly in terms of allowing just anybody on campus. And again, that number more than 2000 uh, more than 2000 students that's gonna be 2100 much less than the 6200 that were originally allowed at the beginning of the semester but it's important to remind you that look there haven't been classes offered in person for five weeks here so this is going to be quite a big change up now for students that are going to be returning to class they are going to be required to take a COVID-19 test every two weeks but for those students that we talk to on campus they're cautiously optimistic this will work. It's been pretty crazy. I'm not used to online school. Sometimes it's really difficult because of all the distractions like our phones or just like looking outside the window. And another thing about those COVID-19 tests, while students that uh, will be returning to class are required to get them every two weeks, those that live off campus and won't be coming back to the classroom, they're not required to get those COVID-19 tests. But for those that do live on campus, if they go to class or not, they are still required to take those tests.